Alright, so today's the big day. I am heading out to go catch the tube up to Knights Bridge to go and look around the Knights Bridge McLaren dealership up in there. Um, I'd even try and go to the Ferrari one. We'll see. Uh, I don't know what their policy is for uh, me going to visit. In a previous video, I talked about that. Some dealers are like, hey, come in, look at everything take pictures, take video, do whatever you want, um, and then others are a lot more restricted and they really don't want anybody messing around inside the dealerships unless they are potential customers. So we're going to go check it out, um, see what they say, and uh, hopefully get some good pictures and videos while we're there. I just got out of the McLaren dealership here in Knights Bridge, um, and I did not, I was not able to take um, videos on the inside. Um, the dealership here is very small. Um, I haven't mentioned this yet, but of course there are dealerships all over um, the UK and the world for McLaren. Um, and this one here is, like I mentioned before, their flagship one. It's been here the longest, um, and so they are of course, honored with having a McLaren P1 inside the dealership. So I was able to see that and I was able to get pictures. However, um, it is very small and they don't allow people to just go and walk around all the cars to take pictures from every angle, to take videos, things like that. Um, it is a little bit more restricted just because of the size of it. Um, but it also, it's also interesting, they had a 675LT um, Spider in there that they had covered because the owner, the person who just bought it, um, is actually coming to pick it up in his first time to see the car after it was made, uh, which is really exciting. Um, it would be really cool to be there when he comes, because I think I'd be able to see him drive it out of here at Startup, see him drive it out, but I don't know when he's coming, just sometime today at class this afternoon. They only had a few right now. They have a 650S, so they had the, the P1, um, which is of course front and center, and then they had a 675LT, which was used. They had a brand new 675 well, it was, that was actually a Spider as well. They also have another 675LT Spider, which is the one that the guy's picking up today. Um, and then they also had a 12C in pearl white, um, which was very nice, but of course it's a 12C, so it's kind of dwarfed by the P1 and then the LT. Um, uh, we've got a bunch of horses here. I don't know why there's a bunch of soldiers on horses going behind me, but there you go. You never know what you're going to see in Knightsbridge in London. Um, but yeah, I had to poke around. Took some good pictures of the P1. It's a nice dark gray one. It's the one I saw earlier, um, a few weeks ago when I just walked by the store. Um, a nice gray finish with a crimson interior. Um, it's, it's actually really quite stunning. I would never have a P1 in that color because I would have a P1 something more like a, um, a dark or a deep blue. Um, but I must say the red combined with the gray exterior um, was really, really catching. I really liked it. Um, the guy who sold it, or who's trying to sell it through that McLaren dealership, um, who's really trying to get his investment back, he had the whole holy trinity of cars. He had the 19 um, Spider from Porsche, he has a LaFerrari, and he has the P1, but he's trying to sell it. Um, it's tough for him to sell though right now because he's asking 1.7 million pounds for it, um, which is a hefty markup. He's actually the second owner of that P1. Um, it was sold to him a few years ago. Um, but yeah, so it was cool to see. Um, also, one thing to keep in um, touch for is I'm going to be going to McLaren Ascot, which is a much larger McLaren dealership outside of, just outside of London. Um, I'm going to try and go there in the next couple weeks. Um, that's where I'll really get to, get to see a lot more McLarens um, just because they have more space out there uh, and so they have a lot more things. Some of the newer cars like the 570 ET, 570S, maybe a 540C, we'll see. Um, just a bunch of different things will be there. So stay tuned for that, but yeah, that's it for now.